Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how to hot swap your code with Java 17. Now, first of all, what is hot swap? Hot swap means while you are developing something, you are making code changes without making a complete application restart, your application should be able to reflect the code change which you just did. Now, we already have Spring DevTools. What about it? So the problem with Spring DevTools is it reloads the entire application context. What I mean by that is even if you use Spring DevTools, you may not be doing the application restart, but Spring is doing it for you. So either you do it or Spring doing it, application gets restarted. The entire Spring context gets reloaded. So if you're in the middle of development, you are developing something or you are debugging something, you will lose the context. Again, you will have to start from scratch, place all the API calls and then get to the point where you have made the code change. Now, can we do something about it? Yes, we have a more effective solution for this. Now, let's see what is the more effective solution for making hot swap What if we could just replace the single class file that we just changed without reloading the entire Spring application context? This can be done. Suppose during developing an API, like you made a code change in, in a single file. And if we are able to reload that single file, it solves the entire purpose. We don't have to wait for application to be stopped and then restarted and the context getting up in the memory again just out of the box one class got changed and one one class got hot replaced that's it so for that what we have to do is first we need to download the jbr release jbr release is jetbrains java 17 runtime so we have to download the jdk from this link i'll share the link in the description after that, we have to download HotSwap agent from this below link. Once we have done, we have to add some VM options to our application while running it. Now enough about the theory, let's see these things in action. Let's head to the demo. So this is the link for JetBrains runtime. Here you will have to download the latest release for Java 17. I am running on Windows, so I'll be downloading this file. You can download the particular file for your particular OS. Upon unzipping it, I'll get something like this. And this is the same path that I have given inside my IntelliJ. Okay, so this is my JDK. Now JDK part is done. Now let's come to Hotswap Agent, the second link which was shown in the slide. Hotswap Agent, this is the link for Hotswap Agent. Okay. So I won't download this. It's a snapshot release. I'll download this one. Upon clicking here, I, I'll have to download Hotswap Agent.jar. Once downloaded, I'll have to rename it and place it in a particular directory of the previously downloaded and unzipped JBR runtime. So this was my JBR SDK. I have to go to live directory and then I have to create a new folder for hot swap. Inside this folder, I have to place the downloaded hot swap agent and I have to rename it for like the file name should be hotswap agent.jar. That's it. Now let's head to IntelliJ. This is a dummy project that I have created. And uh, if you see the project structure, I have used the same JBR runtime. Okay. So this is running on Java 17, the new JDK which I just downloaded. Spring Boot 3.15, it's pretty standard stuff. Okay. So, sorry for the naming convention. I just named it delete later application. So, now 
One more change that we have to do is we have to go to the edit configuration and add the VM options. This is the VM option. Allow enhanced class redefinition hot swap agent is equal to fat jar. Okay, I have to click on apply. All right. Now, how will you verify that every configuration that you have done is correct? Launch the application in debug mode. You will see some blocks from hot swap agent in the beginning only. If you are able to see logs from hot swap agent, that means your configuration is running fine. Everything is running fine. Hot swap agent has been properly configured. Now let's try to hit some endpoints. I have made some endpoints, some dummy endpoints like this. Okay, let's hit slash hello. Okay, so this is our slash hello endpoint. It's doing pretty normal stuff. Now let's make a code change. I want to return hello world. Very simple change. Now let me refresh it. Nothing really happens. So when it comes to IntelliJ, you have to do a tiny setting. Go to file settings, key map, reload, changed, reload changed classes. Add a keyboard shortcut. For me, I'll set this as Control S. Okay. So now, let me make an additional change. New change. Now I'm doing Control S. So in the bottom, you'll see a progress bar. And it gives me a nice notification that one class got reloaded. And We are getting some logs from Hotswap agent. Let it come. All right. So let's refresh it. We are able to see the change. Now, if you see the logs, there was no application restart. Just one class got refreshed, hot swapped. Now let's try to make a more complex change. On the runtime now, I will add a completely new class, a new method, a component, a spring component. Okay. So let me add a new controller. Java class. Spring controller test. Okay. At rest controller and do get mapping dash test me. Okay, public string return new result return hello. I will also create a new method. Let's say here itself. I'll create a helper method. Public string get result from new method. And this is going to return some random string. Okay, so I will call this. Oops. So till now I have not done control S yet. So what we have done till now is we have made a new class, a rest controller on runtime. We made a new mapping. We added two new methods and we'll do a control S. So let it complete. Now it might show sometimes that it did not reload any class. Let it come. Now we'll try to hit this endpoint slash test me. Now see changes are coming up and we did not perform any application restart. So that was my whole intention to 
tell you that there are better ways to get things done without using Spring DevTools. Happy coding!